Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a very quick review today on my new favorite foundation, which is the Gressa's Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. I've been wearing this for almost over a month and I feel like I'm ready to give a review now. So let's get started. My skin, if you don't already know, is very acne prone, um, very combination to oily. I have actually been experiencing some really dry patches this winter. It's been a really rough winter in the East Coast if you haven't heard. I'm just going to go ahead and get into the pros and the cons. I'm going to start with pros. So what I really like about this foundation is that it is eco-friendly. The ingredient list is amazing. They were able to combine a makeup product plus skincare. I love having dual what's it called? Dual products. So I like the fact that it's actually helping my skin while I'm wearing it. So I've been wearing this every day and um, what I really notice is that it does have medium coverage, not full coverage. It can be full coverage, but you'll have to go over it again or I go over it with a concealer. What I've also noticed with this foundation, if I do it right and if I apply my moisturizer correctly, it gives me a really nice glowy, dewy look while still not looking overly oily, which is fantastic. The customer service for Gressa is amazing. I had actually ordered 03 first. They, they match your foundation to a picture that you send them if you're not sure what to get. But then I tried this on for the first time and it was way too light, extremely too light. So I contacted them and they suggested mixing with 04 and they sent this to me which was amazing thank you so much you I was going to buy it anyway but I appreciate it I've been mixing the two of them to get my perfect match which is great because I feel like I have a lot more control over what I'm putting on or what my shade is so come summertime when a lot more darker I'll mix in more of 04 and come winter time I mix in more 03 Wearing this for over a month, I actually have not experienced any new breakouts due to the foundation, so that's great to know that it doesn't irritate my skin. Moving on to the cons. This accentuates dry spots immensely, so if you do not moisturize properly or exfoliate, it's going to show. And I actually, right here, I don't know if you can notice, I have like this super bad dry spot. Be sure to moisturize properly when you use this, or if you have chronically dry skin that flakes often, this may not be the correct product for you. I put on my makeup in the morning, maybe around 6.30, and I wear it throughout the day till 5.30. This foundation does not last the entire time. It needs to be touched up throughout the day, otherwise it'll just look like a mess. Another con is the fact that I actually have to mix the colors, that there isn't a perfect match. This is a little con for me because I really don't mind. I actually like having the control of mixing my, um, my foundation color to get the right one. But it's just, you know, some people like to just slap on the product and go. This is not a slap on product and go. It works better when you take the time to make it look good. I used to put it on with my fingers and then I realized it actually is better putting it on with a brush. I highly suggest using a brush when putting this on, otherwise it looks a little cakey. Needing to mix the colors isn't really a big deal for me. I do like putting in effort. It does take me a little more time to get ready in the morning, but all in all, it's all good. So my overall impression is that this is a fantastic foundation if you are into putting on good stuff on your skin and eco-friendly products and cruelty-free products, I highly suggest looking into this foundation. It is one of the best natural foundations that I have tried out before and I definitely highly recommend this. I want to point out also that this is not a sponsored video. I. Even though I was sent this for free, I bought all the products on my own, 100% of the opinions are mine. Um, yeah. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like and subscribe if you aren't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I'm on all the social media platforms and I do a video every Monday and Friday. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Christina. I'm going to share my I am going to London and I am so excited. Leading 